What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And as always, the MVP is a big time topic for NBA fans. And throughout the years, we always hear the saying that whoever does not win the MVP got robbed or it was stolen or it's some great tragedy that that player did not win the award. Now when talking to NBA fans, the player who always comes up in those discussions is LeBron James. LeBron, if you didn't know, he's a four-time MVP winner and he hasn't won the award in eight years. Now, hearing that LeBron hasn't won MVP in eight years may sound like some great tragedy. But in this video today, I'm going to go through each of those eight years plus one extra year and I'm going to show you guys LeBron James has never been robbed of an MVP award. And before I go into great detail, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. And if you haven't liked this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Now throughout NBA history, the MVP is always a big time award and it does mean a lot to a lot of players. And there's really three different things that go into winning the award. First up, you have to have great numbers and have a great year. Secondly, your team 90% of the time has to be a top three seed. And lastly, you have to have a good narrative that can boost you over the top. So those three things generally are what go into a player winning the MVP. So with that out of the way, let's go one by one over the last eight years where LeBron James did not win the MVP. First up, we have 2014, and this year was a two-man race between Kevin Durant and LeBron James. And I'll put the numbers on the screen for you right now. KD averaged 32-7-5, LeBron averaged 27-7-6, and, and both these players had extremely good shooting splits. KD was near 50-40-90, and LeBron's efficiency was at an all-time high from every area. Now looking at just those numbers, both players had great years, but Kevin Durant has the slight edge. And the one thing that gives KD a big boost over LeBron is the fact that Russell Westbrook, KD's second best player, missed 36 games this year, and Oklahoma City still won 59 games. LeBron's Heat, they won 54 games, but that was in the Eastern Conference, and he also had Dwayne Wade as well as Chris Bosh. So looking back on this year, I don't see much controversy, and for the voters in 2014, there was definitely no controversy, as Kevin Durant got 119 out of 127 first place votes. So for 2014, LeBron James was not robbed of the MVP. Now let's look ahead to the 2015 season. This year was really a two-man race between Steph Curry as well as James Harden, but I also will put LeBron in there. And comparing all three of these players stats-wise, James Harden, in my opinion, actually has the best stats, but the player who deserved this MVP was undoubtedly Steph Curry. Steph this year averaged 24-7-4 on 49-44 and 91 splits. And this year, his Warriors team won 67 games and came out of nowhere and took the NBA by storm. James Harden's Rockets also won 56 games in the tough Western Conference, and LeBron's Cavs only won 53 games in the weaker Eastern Conference. And if you did watch the 2015 season, you know LeBron this year, he was really coaching the whole year. He missed 13 games, and he really didn't take the regular season that seriously. And the MVP voters, there was no controversy. Steph had 100 first place votes, Harden had 25, and LeBron was in third place with only five first place votes. So for 2015, LeBron James was definitely not robbed of the MVP. Now looking ahead to 2016, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Steph Curry this year averaged 37 and 5 on 50, 45, and 91 splits. His team won 73 games. And even the most hardcore LeBron fan will admit he was not robbed of the MVP in 2016. Now moving on to 2017, this year the MVP race was really a two-man race between Westbrook and James Harden. And regardless of who you think deserved that award, I think everyone can agree this year, LeBron. He wasn't even in the top three when it came to MVP cases. And actually, he was in fourth place, and he only received one first place vote. And kind of like in 2015, LeBron this year, he had great numbers as always, but he really did coast through the year. He didn't give it his all on defense, and even offensively, he took nights off. All players do that, but it was pretty obvious that he was saving himself for the playoffs, and he didn't go all out like Westbrook or James Harden. Now, 2018 is a different story. I think this year, LeBron James had a very good argument winning MVP. LeBron this year averaged 28-8-9 on 54-37 and 73 splits, and his Cavs team won 50 games. Now Harden averaged 39-5 on 45-37 and 86 splits, also very impressive. But unlike LeBron, his team 
dominated the NBA, winning the most games in the league at 67. And while I would say Harden had the better case for MVP, that his team won way more games in the Harvard Conference, and Harden had numbers that were very similar to LeBron James. And once again, if you go back and you remember 2018, that Cavs team was dysfunctional. They made a huge blockbuster trade. They had tons of roster movement. And LeBron, for about a month and a half to two months, played absolutely no defense and had the worst defensive rating in the NBA. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying James Harden's a great defender, but in 2018, I felt like Harden gave a lot more effort and he took that year a lot more seriously. And I think the voters in 2018, that definitely did reflect that as Harden had 86 first place votes and LeBron only had 15. So 2018, that was LeBron's last year in Cleveland and he joined the Lakers for the 2019 season. Now that year was an absolute cluster. LeBron played great as always, but his team as well as himself had a lot of injuries They were dysfunctional and LeBron this year did not receive a single vote for MVP as he finished tied for 11th with Rudy Gobert. Now next up we have 2020 and very similar to 2018, I think you can make a very good, very compelling case. LeBron James deserves his MVP. First off, you can look at his numbers. He averaged 25, 10, and 8. He led the NBA in assists, and as always, had great shooting splits. And the only other player who was in contention for this award was Giannis Antetokounmpo. And this year, Giannis averaged 30, 13, and 6 on 55, 30, and 63 splits. Now, the case I would make for LeBron deserving this award LeBron this year, he was the best passer in the NBA, he led the NBA in assists, and he was one of the most versatile players in the entire league. Also his defense this year, compared to 2019 as well as 2018, was on a whole nother level. He was locked in and focused, and giving it 100% on both ends of the court every single night. Now all of that in a normal year, I would say would give LeBron the MVP. But this year, like I said, he was going against Giannis one of the most dominant two-way players in the game today. So I think LeBron had a very good, very compelling case, but Giannis had just as good numbers, he had a better record, and he wasn't playing with an all-star teammate. LeBron this year was playing with Anthony Davis, a top five or top three player. And I think once again, if you look to the voters, the voting was not really close at all. Giannis had 85 first place votes, and LeBron only had 16. So once again, I would say LeBron James was not robbed of the MVP, and Giannis was the rightful MVP. Now, so far in this video, I've gone through eight years where LeBron has not won the MVP, and I think I made a pretty good, pretty compelling argument as to why he did not. But I did leave off one specific year, because I wanted to say that to the end of the video, and that year is 2011. Now, this year in 2011, the MVP was Derrick Rose, and D. Rose averaged 25, 7, and 4 on 45, 33, and 86 splits, and the Bulls had the best record in the NBA. And LeBron this year averaged 27, 7, and 7 on 51, 33, and 76 splits. And stats wise, a better year than Derrick Rose. Also, LeBron this year was a much better defender compared to D. Rose. So, that is something else you can add in to LeBron's MVP case. Now, why I think LeBron did not win this award has a lot to do with the media narratives. And this is one time in LeBron's career where the media narratives really came back to bite him. This year, Derrick Rose, he was 22 years old, and the Bulls came out of nowhere and had the best record in the league. A lot of his great teammates missed a handful of games. Carlos Boozer, Joe Kim Noah, and even some other really important role players all missed a handful of games. And also at this time in 2011, this is LeBron's first year in Miami, coming off the decision where LeBron became the most hated player in the NBA. So 2011, in my opinion, is LeBron's strongest case for deserving the MVP. And like I said, the narrative this year had a lot to do with Derrick Rose winning that award. And that, once again, brings me back to what people thought in the moment in 2011. The voting this year was not even close. Derrick Rose had 113 first place votes, and LeBron was second with only four. It's only now in hindsight, when we go back and look at it, there is some controversy with his award. And the last thing I'll say in this video is that I think media narratives and voter fatigue, they are definitely real. They're two of the worst things in basketball. And it really is frustrating how NBA media people, they choose different players to boost up and different players to tear down year by year. And we've seen that with every NBA superstar, not just LeBron James, 
You have guys like James Harden, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard. They come and go with ebbs and flows, but I really do hate the media narratives and the voter fatigue. So with that last little tangent, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think LeBron James is robbed of multiple MVPs? Do you like my case in this video for LeBron not being robbed? Do you think I'm overlooking certain years? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.